Hi, I'm Kristen Z, and this is Kristen S. And today we're going to show you a series of exercises that are going to tone every single muscle in your upper body. All right, so to start, Kristen's going to get set up in a high plank position. And a plank is so great, not just for your arms, but also for your entire core. So her hands are gonna be a bit wider than her shoulders. Her seat is in line with her shoulder blades and her abs are drawn in tightly. On the first series of push-ups we're gonna do, involves a three count down and one count up. Ready, here we go. Take it down, two, three, and press up. So inhale on the way down and then exhale as you push that floor away. Down, two, three, press up. One more, down, two, Three. Now take that same thing double time. Down, two, three, and press. Down, two, three, and press. Two more. Two, three, and press. Down, two, three. Now singles go down and up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Hold from here. She's gonna lift her right leg, point the toe, then she's gonna pull her knee toward her left elbow. Pull for two, and then extend that leg straight back. Nice and long. Pull in and across, extend it back. Two more here, pull in and across, lock in those abs. One more time, pull in and across, hold it there. Drop the right hip, flex that right foot, and all you're gonna do here is pulse that leg up and up. One inch, staying nice and strong in that plank. You should feel this really deep in that right oblique. Four, lift three, lift two, and one. Step the right foot back, lift the left foot off the floor. Same thing, other side, pull the knee across for two and stretch it back. Squeeze the glute as you press that leg to the wall behind you. Press for two, bring in and across for two. Press back for two, last one. Now hold the knee across, drop that left hip nice and deep toward the floor, flex the foot and pulse the whole leg up. Pulse and pulse and pulse. Now you're feeling this in the left side of your waistline. Give me four and three and two and one. Step back into your high plank. Here's your big finish. You're gonna take eight perfect push-ups. Go down. And up. Kristen's making this look easy, but I assure you, it is not. And if you cannot achieve a full-on push-up from your toes, just take it to your thighs, and you'll build up to this level. Two more. Down and up. Last one. And release. You made it. Drop your knees. Sit back on your heels. Extend your arms. And take a deep breath here in child's pose. All right. Roll up through your spine. And now bring your feet in front of you and come onto your seat. Take your hands behind your hips and make sure your fingertips are facing forward. Now we're moving on to the triceps, that beautiful long muscle in the back of the arm. Kristen's gonna lift her seat up and then shift her weight back all into her hands so the shoulders remain over the wrists. Let's start with slow controlled dips. Go down and up. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. Give me four more slow, then we'll speed it up. Try to tap your tailbone to the carpet every time. Extend, bend, Extend, now give me eight quick. It's bend, extend, bend, extend, drop, lift, drop, lift. Four, three, now take it down in three, up one. Down, two, three, press. So make that press really powerful. Down, two, three, press. Back to singles for four. Now two triplets, down, two, three, and press. Down, two, three, four, singles. This is the last time for this combo. Two triples. Down, two, three. Now let's finish with our slow ones. It's down and up. Bend, extend. If you want to make it harder, go ahead, extend your legs all the way in front of you for the last four. Bend, extend, drive the elbows back. Just think of those results. Bend, extend, and release. We have one more component of this set. So before I'm um, stretching, you can go right into it. Cross your ankles, make fists in your hands like you're holding onto a set of dumbbells, and extend your arms long behind you as you hinge forward from your hips. So I should see a straight line from your tailbone to your head. Pull your shoulders back, think of puffing out your chest between them, and start to pulse your arms up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. You wanna keep the range of motion small so that the muscles stay engaged the whole time. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, two more slow, Last one, go double time. Lift up and up and up and up. Four more. Now we alternate with one lift and one squeeze into the center. Lift, squeeze in. So think lift, hold, squeeze, hold. So there's a tiny little pause in between each movement. And that's gonna give you the precision. It's gonna 
Make your arms look beautifully toned and sculpted. Lift hold, squeeze hold, lift hold, squeeze hold. Four more, and squeeze, lift three, and squeeze, lift two, and squeeze. To finish off, we're gonna just squeeze it in. Lift your arms a little bit higher, turn your palms up to the ceiling. Here's where we're gonna finish. Double time, squeeze in for 60. In, 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 tighter, tighter. Last eight counts, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. All right, after that, you deserve a stretch. So roll your shoulders back, take your right arm up, wrap your left hand above that elbow and pull your arm behind your ear as you reach down the center of your back. Inhale and exhale and envision that muscle elongating. Switch it out to the other side. Wrap your hand around your left elbow. Inhale, exhale, pull and reach. One more stretch. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Press your palms together, stretch the arms long. Deep breath here, one more inhale, then exhale and fold over those legs, letting the arms release back and up. And you can release your hands, roll up through your spine, and now you're all ready for tank top season.